So 2.4 is right around the corner and players will have some tough decisions to make when it comes to deciding what character they want to pull for. To say it lightly, patch 2.4 is utterly stacked with not only some interesting new characters that look great but have yet to be proven and older characters that have been fully tested that people have been waiting eons to come back in a rerun banner. Now because of this I decided to do a poll on my channel and ask you my community if you had to recommend a new free to play player a character to pull for who would you advise? I gave the choices of only the characters that are currently here in Arataki Ito and the characters coming in 2.4 which is Zhao, Ganyu, and Shenhei. Now I did this poll because I wanted to first see what my community's subjective opinions were and maybe see the reasoning behind it. Now to no one's surprise, Ganyu won by a landslide but the question is why? Why would Ganyu be so highly favored as a recommendation to new free to play players? Well, let's break that down in today's video and if you want to join in on the conversation comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this topic and if you feel so inclined consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel and join the fbg family we would love to have you around so why ganyu why do so many people advise this character over the others previously mentioned for new free to play players to put it simply ganyu truly is one of a kind when Ganyu first released, she was quite frankly ahead of her time. Nothing points to that more than the fact that she is, to this day, arguably the best character in the game, and she released close to a year ago. Let's talk about why Ganyu is always in the conversation for best character in the game, and why she has aged so well. Ganyu's double charge shot. Before her release, there have been maybe only a handful of individuals that truly knew how impactful Ganyu's double charge shot was going to be. I believe for the majority it was either overlooked, downplayed, or possibly both. The double charge shot was, for lack of a better term, revolutionary and to be honest still is to this day. The amount of damage, of course, if built properly is just superb and extremely satisfying. To be able to sit back and pick off multiple enemies and do main DPS worthy damage was just and still is unprecedented, which allows me to segue right into talking about the range of the double charge shot which is just insanity in of itself. When the Frostblake arrow blooms and it hits the target, it will explode and do AoE cryo damage. Now this is significant because this is what separates Ganyu from every other bow character in the game. Ganyu is able to hit multiple enemies. The range of the AoE is so great that you can quite literally just aim at the floor and still hit your enemies and do incredible damage. I admittedly do this all the time when there are multiple enemies around. Things are getting a little too hectic and I don't have a clear shot at the enemies or they're just moving around a little too much for me. I just shoot at the ground, the AoE damage shoots all over the place and you're able to go ahead and still hit your enemies, still do damage and this is also a reason why Ganyu is a fantastic bow user for my mobile players because you don't necessarily have to be that skillful and you don't necessarily have to have the best aim in the world to still use Ganyu very effectively. So for my mobile players, this bow user in particular is a really good option for you. Now, the double charge shot allowed Ganyu to be able to compete with some of the best DPS characters in the game, but to recommend Ganyu to new free-to-play players means that there has to be more to her than just doing some chunky damage, and you are correct. It comes in Ganyu's elemental skill and elemental burst. Let's break down the elemental skill first because I truly love what it does. For the elemental skill, to put it simply, you drop down a flower, it taunts the enemies, and after a period of time, it explodes and does damage. Nothing special, right? Wrong. There is so much more to this elemental skill. For one, the taunt. This is so prevalent not just for the entire team, but also specifically for Ganyu and her playstyle. When you lay down the taunt, it will obviously draw the focus of the enemies, excluding the ones who cannot be taunted, of course, to the flower, allowing you then to reposition into that sniper range and rain down damage while out of harm's way. What is also very unique about this skill is the way it backdashes Ganyu. I do not see enough people talking about this and I know it is a very minor touch, but I think it is so important and I believe at least it should be acknowledged a little more, especially when it comes to once again Ganyu's playstyle and how you're going to be utilizing her. Ganyu is all about position and staying at range. After dropping the flower, the backdash allows you to get out of harm's way, reposition yourself, and get the proper distance to do your damage. Now, 
The last thing that I'll talk about when it comes to the elemental skill is that it actually does surprisingly good damage in its own and it hits multiple enemies. I just love this elemental skill so much and I think it is criminally underrated by some. Now the elemental burst is pretty incredible in its own right. When you couple this with the elemental skill and then the sheer damage of the double charge shot, you start to really see why this character is so highly favored and recommended. The elemental burst is a large AoE field that consistently rains down cryo onto the enemies and of course does damage. Now the damage is not that great, nothing to write home about, but the AoE and its consistency is its greatest strength. As it allows Ganyu to be a supporter for elemental reactions. Tie in Ganyu's second passive ability which allows active party members standing in the AoE of the elemental burst a 20% increase in cryo damage and you have a very solid supporting elemental burst. I won't go into constellations in this video because for new free to play players it wouldn't be a recommendation and it probably wouldn't be something that they would be able to do but suffice it to say they are pretty damn good as well. So all in all I hope this video if nothing else shows why Ganyu is such a great and viable recommendation for honestly anyone. We have her rerun that is going to be coming back and people have been waiting for Ganyu to come back around because of how good this character is. How she quite literally stood the test of time and aged so well and how she is so easy to build free to play wise in terms of artifacts and weapons. This character is just such a great recommendation for any player that plays the game of Genshin Impact because of her viability, her versatility, how she can fit on any team comp, and her ease of build. Now at this point in the video I did want to go ahead and take the opportunity to give a massive shout out to my community as well. I want to take the opportunity to acknowledge each and every one of you because not only are you all incredibly intelligent but also so supportive to me and the channel as well. I love and appreciate you guys, the FBG family, who stick by me through the ups and downs and through the rough patches and the good patches. It all means the world to me and I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you so much. Now, with that being said, I'm going to get on out of here. And once again, just to reiterate, this video was to just highlight why Ganyu is such a great character, why people in the community recommend her to not only new players, but free to play players and new free to play players. And if you are on the fence trying to decide what character to choose, hopefully this video helps in giving you an idea of how great Ganyu is. And if you want me to do a more in-depth video like this for other characters such as Zhao and others, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know by hitting the like button. Let's me know you guys want to see more of this. And I'll see you in the next one. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody. And I'm out. Bye, guys.